the sun is about 50 times brighter than your average inside light. But scientists have developed a light that's about a million times brighter than the sun. But what on earth could you be looking for with a light like that? How do you study something smaller than a molecule with a giant machine? And we've built one as big as a football field. Hi, I'm Mark, a part of the team building the Australian Synchrotron. It's basically an intense beam of light showing us the structure of things that are so small they've never been seen before. From the synchrotron, scientists are discovering everything from how viruses behave, helping us to cure the flu, to how metals react when they're melted together so we can make stronger and lighter cars and faster planes. It can even show us in detail how molecules work, helping us make smoother and creamier chocolate. So how does it work? A synchrotron generates a brilliant beam of light a million times brighter than the sun by using electrons. Electrons are generated in the centre in this electron gun and accelerated to almost the speed of light. Now that's fast. This creates the electron beam which is transferred into the outer storage ring. The electrons spin around the storage ring through a series of magnets creating an electric field. The magnets cause the electrons to give off an intense light beam. The light beam is then sent through here into an experimental lab. It then comes through here and the beam is focused onto a sample of whatever you're studying. Because the beam is so bright we can't look at it. So light and particle detectors act as our eyes and the computer collects and stores data for us to analyse. Just like a rainbow has different coloured lights, the synchrotron can produce different beams of light by changing its wavelength. The different types of beams tell us different things. Infrared lets us look at the surface of things, X-rays let us look into things, and hard X-rays can look straight through things. And we've got room for over 30 experimental labs for scientists to work in. What they're used for in the future is up to your imagination. But no matter how you look at it, the Australian Synchrotron will have a bright future.